The uh, posting videos, the more outrageous, the more people look and see and like. You get views, you get noticed, and in some cases, you get paid. And arrested. And in this case... There's a so happy ending to this story. You may have seen the videos from early in the morning, Friday, like 3 a.m., on the Fort Pitt Bridge outbound, just outside of the tunnel. They stop traffic, this group of cars... That Idiots. ...do these donuts, you know, where they... Spin the car around. Yeah, it looks like that screech. movie. Yeah. Fasten. And there's a, a, a whole site where these young men, they have these fancy cars. The guy's got almost 400,000 followers, and he makes money from this. And if you watch the whole video, and by the way, I posted, it's very dramatic, by the way. It's very violent. It's kind of intimidating. It's kind of frightening. They drove from Detroit in a caravan, uh, mocking the police, um, and then they took over this bridge. They literally took it over, did they not, Larry? The video is frightening to watch, quite frankly. Yeah, they took over control of the bridge. What, what time was that? It was like 3 in the morning. 3 a.m. And you know what I love? One of my boys texted me yesterday, we're bringing this guy down. The state police did a hell of a job, and the county police did a hell of a job. So they found out one of the ringleaders was trying to leave town at the airport yesterday, and they snagged him at the airport. And it's the second time he's been arrested. And he's been charged with uh, causing a riot. And I'm hoping he's, he goes to jail and it sends a message. One of my boys, actually one of my favorite uh, people, one of the best uh, journalists I've ever known, who has his pulse on more things than uh, 20 reporters in this town. Billy Sawyer, good morning, sir. Hey, Marty, how are you? First of all, you're, you're what I would consider a driving expert, uh, really into it and actually really, really has expertise in Formula One. But this is a different kind of racing, and it's very dangerous. And you found this video. What was your reaction when you saw this, Bill? Well, I wasn't surprised. You, you've you seen it going on in other cities. And I just, I just saw this stuff in the bridge, and I'm like, wait a minute. This stuff is a little too planned, a little too big. And I went to YouTube. I put in Pittsburgh. I hit latest video, and boom, there they were. Wow. It took me five minutes. Wow. To find it. So this is five minutes to find it. This there is was, also uh, evidence that they'll use against these people because now they have true. video to prove that they were there. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it's right there. It's 4K video, perfect resolution. You can hear all the language, which is pretty wild. And and as a journalist who's been at it, by the way, as long as I have, and is amazingly good at it, are you kind of shocked that? This is the culture now and that these guys can actually make money from doing this, raising hell. Uh, no, I mean, I'm a big YouTuber. I'm not on YouTube, but I, I follow a lot of people. There's, you know, Casey and all those famous people making $10 million a year being YouTubers, but they have tens of millions of followers. Yeah. But, you know, at 300,000 like this guy from Florida, he's still raking in 50, 60 grand a year just from that. Wow. Really? Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, follow, I I look at what people make at a certain limit of followers. Yeah. But yeah, 300,000 guy. He could be making 50 grand a year easy. Hey, hey Billy. Uh, so I put up these pics this morning of this uh, woman who was mauled by a pit bull and immediately Twitter locked my account <laughs> and then immediately Facebook blurred out the picture. Yet they do nothing to this kid who's breaking the law and making money. Isn't there a bit of an irony there, sir? Well... It, 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 yeah, I mean, you're trying to tell people about dogs and what can happen. and But yet, what most people don't realize about those videos, and I see the comments on your stuff. Right, right. They see a bunch of people doing donuts in the bridge. Well, who cares? Well, right. they didn't see the hour and a half worth of video that you did that I sent you. Yeah, yeah. Of them going down the parkway. He even says before they start, at rush hour. And they are passing. I mean, I'm a pretty crazy driver. I don't do it around other people. Right. But, I mean, they are running triple the speed of everybody else, and they are going in and out of traffic. Most skilled drivers wouldn't even attempt to do what they were doing. Yeah. yeah and we he had one hand on the wheel, the other hand on his camera. And it glorifies it, by the way. Does it not, Billy? Oh, yeah, sure. Every yeah. kid wants to try it. But, well, is you know, this from Fast and nobody Furious? Seems to care. Nobody seems to care about them spinning around on the bridge. They think that's cute. And yeah. 
all right, nobody's probably going to get hurt but them. But every mother and father and family member was driving down that parkway when they were running through there at 100 miles an hour. Yeah, it's true, man. It's one moment away from a multiple car accident and a significant number of deaths. Well, you oh, just, sure. can't, just can't have that. They've done sure. it on well, the south side. Well, you saw him going through the tunnel. You posted that. He yeah. was running 118 miles an hour. Is that what that was? Is that what that was? I couldn't see the speedometer. Okay. Oh, yeah, 118. I, I have the 4K video. I just looked at it just to, so I could tell you that. I wonder if the police could use that and give to give them a ticket just for that well, alone. Of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. That's why people, I know a lot of big YouTubers that they're afraid to fly their drones in certain areas because they'll find it on YouTube and use it against them. Yeah. Sure hey, man, you're, you're a uh, lifetime or a media guy. You've seen everything twice like I have. It's why we're <laughs> such close friends. Are you kind of shocked by how we glorify this now in our culture because of video? I'm baffled about. I've always been baffled about other people going crazy over other people. Yeah. Like Taylor Swift. Yeah, yeah. Like the Prince and Princess, all yeah. that stuff. It, yeah, I get it, it baffles me. I don't understand. Is it people's lack of having something in their own life to appreciate? I don't know. I don't get it. And my man Billy, you know what his obsession is now? What? Turkeys in his backyard. Turkeys. It's absolutely, turkeys. it's absolutely adorable, actually, quite frankly. They're natural. They're, baby they're, coons. they're natural. Bill, go easy. <laughs> They're supposed to be there. And they won't tear my leg off. Yeah, Bill doesn't no. do that kind of thing. But it's fascinating. If you think they're uh, trying to uh, copy the Fast and the Furious, the kids kids are doing that. Is that what this emanates from, sir? I don't really know. Yeah. I've never watched that movie. Yeah. But um, <laughs> I, I, I don't I don't know. It's just it's the culture with these, uh, the Dodge SRTs and yep. the Dodge uh, yep. Yep. Red eyes and everything else. I mean, these guys are spending eighty thousand dollars on a thousand horsepower car that'll it's do. It's amazing. Uh, what is a zero to sixty in under three seconds? And they don't steal these cars. These are their cars. Allegedly. Yeah, yeah, it's fascinating. Yeah, Billy Sawyer. Thanks, brother. You're thanks, really good Bill. at it. Good to see you. And look out for the turkeys. Yeah, that too. Your calendar. 